I'm buzzing to be fair. It was a quick turnaround, obviously deadline day, but as soon as it got over the line, I was just happy to be here and get started. I spoke to the gaffer, who I obviously know, and um, I know how he plays, and I think it suits how I want to play as well, and I just want to play my part. You scored quite a few goals for him during your time at Plymouth. How did he get the best out of you? Just, I feel like the system suited me, and I just got in positions where I could score, and that's what you have to do as a striker, and I feel like I can get in positions to score, and it's about getting the ball and scoring, simple as that. That's the main goal as a striker, and helping the team. What is it that you created at Plymouth to allow you to have such success last season? It was just a good environment. It's about having a good environment off the pitch as a team, as a, like a unit, not just players, just um, the staff. Everyone's like a family and it was, that's how it was built. So it's about um, obviously getting to know my teammates and being a part of a unit now and cracking on with the season. Niall is, um, is a good player. Obviously he's a player who I've worked with before. Um, he's a centre forward who is incredibly hard working. Um, he trains every day like he means it. He wants to get better. He's a young player and um, that's still got development in him as well. I, I feel I think he done really well last season in League One and um, deserves his opportunity in the championship. Hasn't quite worked out for him the way he would have expected uh, at Blackburn so far this season, but I know exactly what I'm getting from him. And as I say, he's a player that I think the fans will take to because he gives us 100% every week. You moved to Blackburn in the summer, didn't go as you would have probably have wanted it to. Do you see this as a fresh challenge now? 100%, that's football. Um, not every move works and it's about just brushing everything off and starting again and hopefully this is the right move, which I, I like to think it is. I was far away from home for a few years and it gets tough when you're not around family and stuff, but I feel like it's the right time and the right club. And the main thing is obviously on the pitch, so that's the main like part of the game I need to worry about. Talking to family, your mum's based in Stone, so I'd imagine you know quite a bit about the club already. Yeah, uh, I do know about um, obviously the club. Uh, my husband supports Stoke and had a season ticket like for the club, so he was buzzing when obviously I signed for the club, and she was she was over the moon to be fair. So I just hope it works out, yeah. And in terms of you as a player, what do you hope to bring to the team? I hope to bring goals, um, hard work off the ball, um, good link-up play and obviously just a player who wants to help the team win, that's the main thing. I want to help the team win by scoring and just rising up the league. A lot of teams that I play for, it's about being on the front foot and pressing and to be in them teams you have to have that uh, characteristic and I feel like that attribute I have just about working hard and pressing and making it tough for the centre-backs and other teams, so I just need to show that. I'm 24, I've still got a lot to give and I know I have, so it's about just proving it now, not talking about it. His best qualities, as I say, is uh, he's not easy to play against. He is uh, industrious, he's, he's good in and around the box. Um, he's a good finisher when he gets his opportunities and defenders know that they've been in the game, so that's what we'll ask for him uh, every week. As I say, he did enjoy um, the style of play that we played previously and I'm sure he'll enjoy it here. It's going to take him a bit of time to settle in as, as you would expect with any new player coming to a club so yeah, once he gets his, um, his feet on the ground I think he'll do really well. In terms of what you've already learned in your career, what have you learned about yourself? That um, I'm resilient. Obviously when I was younger I had, a, I had injuries and stuff like that and it's just about, it's made me more thick skinned and like I feel like more, I'm mentally stronger and I can overcome a lot of like stuff that doesn't go my way and it's about just being positive. During your time here what do you hope to achieve? Obviously the main goal is to help the club get back to where they belong and obviously that means rising up the table and I don't want to look too far ahead we just need to get on a run of games get some wins and just play my part that's the main thing.